Do you like your fruit cut or uncut? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna make a fruit salad. Look out, I've got a knife. This is my favorite room of the house. I mean, who has got a couch in their kitchen? It's perfect for having depressive episodes in the middle of the day. And it's where Vanya watches the squirrels out in the yard. Yes, keeping us safe. You're so good, Vanya. Yes, you're beautiful. This is also a plant hospital for all of the dying plants in the house. No, don't look at it. My shame. We're gonna nurse her back to health. Being inside this kitchen is exactly what it's like inside my head. It is filled with my own image, inexplicably set in the 70s, and um, perfumed with dog piss. Oh, are you the one who peed everywhere? There's so many treasures here in this kitchen. A quilt made by my mother, a picture of a wolf that I adopted for $100 a year when I was 12 years old, and I got updates on his uh, territorial and aggressive behavior every month. I love you, baby. To make a fruit salad, all you need is some fruit of different kinds, a knife, a cutting board, and then a gorgeous platter to display the fruit in. This is a vintage plastic bowl that my grandma collected. It says it's by Kurok of Monterey. You know, plastic is terrible, but vintage plastic is a treasure because they put rocks and stuff in it that probably doesn't even make it food safe, but it's gorgeous. Ooh. You can put your cigarettes out into here too. That's what it says on the back at least. So just slice like this. <laughs> oh, should I not cut myself? Don't cut yourself unless I'm rolling. That's the secret goal of this video. Drag queen fruit accident. <laughs> <laughs> the big reveal, it's my bones inside my body. <laughs> The best thing about a fruit salad is that you don't need to have the prettiest melons to make it. Like, in praise of ugly fruit, because we don't get the best produce here in Flatbush. It's a little, you know, turned and curled, but when you chop it up and mix it all together, it tastes just as delicious as the most boutique produce out there. So, fruit salad for the win. I'm going to start with the pineapple, because it's so beautiful. Don't judge my cutting technique. I'm not formally trained, but I do have a passion. You know, it's like performance. Passion, storytelling is half the battle. Oh, okay. None for you, my dear. My parents would sometimes make a fruit salad. I thought it was the most decadent thing, and so I, I said that I wanted to have a fruit salad every day. And my mom said, that's great you can make it yourself. So I learned how to use that knife to slice up seasonal fruit and put it into my lunchbox. And I was that bougie little queen who took out my fork and ate a fruit salad every day. We are nothing if not consistent little creatures. Would you like a pee? Johnny, do you want a piece? Can we Google if it's safe for dogs? He looks really excited by it. <laughs> Do dogs eat pineapple? Raw pineapple in small amounts is an excellent snack for dogs. This is this a small amount? Smaller. <laughs> Ooh. Here you go. Enjoy. Eat it in good health, my son. very beautiful, but never, I learned from Top Chef, never put an inedible decoration on your plate. Next up, a cantaloupe. Do you knock on it to hear if it's hollow and that's how you know it's right? Is it a scratch and sniff situation? Someone please tell me, but it feels juicy. No, that wouldn't do that. Ooh, <gasps> Ooh it's beautiful. Same shape as my hair. Ooh, look at all that cantaloupe. 
Oh, that's very little cantaloupe, actually. Damn. <laughs> okay, back to the cutting board. My least favorite fruit is gonna get controversial. Papaya. Papaya tastes garlicky to me. I'm convinced it's a vegetable. It's a tiny knife for a tiny fruit. It's kiwi. Why fruit salad? Fruit salad is perfect if you want to impress your, oh! Look at the two different colors of green. That's so pretty. Ah, it looks like a crystal. I feel like kiwi is underappreciated. The thing I love about fruit salad is that you can't mess it up. More is more, just like in drag. But look, on the ground. It's for you. It's underneath you. Look, here. <gasps> yes, try. It's good. He takes everything to his lair. <laughs> Where is he taking it? It's like stuffed into the arm of the couch. <laughs> okay, what next? Gosh, I didn't realize this was gonna take so long. An Asian pear. Wow, I probably would be faster going like this, right? <gasps> I'm learning chef techniques in front of your very eyes. Okay, I'm told a ripe mango is in smell and texture. And this one is like, not squishy. It smells like mango. So I'm, I'm hopeful. Ooh. Wait, it's actually okay. I've had way less ripe fruit in one of those pre-packaged fruit mixes. With that hard-ass honeydew, a crime against the fruit salad. With grapes, you will never catch me putting whole grapes in my fruit salad. Mm. transported. The secret to the perfect fruit salad is the same as putting together a dinner party or a show. A diversity of the guests, different perspectives, different voices, different opinions. And then you sweeten it up with a secret bit of sugar that no one knows is there, but the sugar just makes it all go together. And then I'm gonna toss in grapefruit because I like to add bitterness to my parties. In the first six months of dating Johnny Velour, when I was a wild 20 year old, I got into drag and made him a steak dinner and then proceeded to cut myself and had to go to the hospital. And I've never cooked again. <laughs> I'm joking, but it's kind of true. <laughs> yeah, it's just a slight amount. Now the reason I'm wearing gloves today is for hygiene. And you don't want to contaminate anything. Also, because my fingernails have grown out. Oh, I cut it the wrong way. <laughs> You're definitely supposed to cut it like this. Oh, look, that's so pretty. We are living it up today. Wow, this is getting pretty juicy on my beautiful kitchen glove. Okay, so I made this fruit salad. Now I'm gonna get a big spoon to serve it with. These two, they don't go together at all. These two go together. It's a winter fruit salad with ginger, kiwi, mango, pineapple, cantaloupe, apple pear or Asian pear, grapefruit, mango, and love each piece carefully touched by my gloves. <laughs> Enjoy. I love this art from Carrie King. We've got Raina Rue, Mauve, Jeremy Cerise. There's some Chara, some Denise embroideries um, from Freya, this crazy doll. Shelby in London. That's from Theresa May up there in the corner. We've got Katie Duvall with the dots up there. And Stacy, of course, this beautiful painting. Um, oh, and of course, my signed picture from Shirley Bassey that Lindy Lou got me a 
my wig just hit the wall. To Sasha, best wishes, Dame Shirley Bassey. You can tell she knows exactly who I am and how much I love her from this extremely personal inscription. And it means the world to me, <laughs> yeah, but I, it is actually my treasure. Other favorite things in this kitchen are this by Faggots embroidery that Miss Malice got Johnny for his birthday. It's his favorite words, two favorite words. The secret to a good party, you have to have a little nibble, like a fruit salad or a crudite. You have to have a pre-mixed cocktail so you don't spend too much time shaking things. And the second it starts to lag, you have to say goodbye to everyone and tell them to leave. So they leave with good memories. <clears throat> Get out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is ASMR now. Come get your fruit. I don't want anyone getting scurvy. There you go. Here you are, sweetheart. Thank you. Here you are, darling. Enjoy. There you go. I don't think he can get it off the fork. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Was it scary? Was it scary when the tinesies touched your toothies? <laughs> I feel like the barefoot contessa right now. I made seconds just for myself. Excuse me, darling. Ah. Uh, mmm. I'm acutely aware I'm eating on camera suddenly. How revolting. I want to die. But I'm just gonna keep chewing. Next, next week, I'll be making soup. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm never cooking again. <laughs> Subscribe.